here is our um, Keystone hideout. It's a 2017. It's a 21. The model number is a 21 THWE. Um, it's got the cold weather package where the tanks get heated by the furnace and it's completely sealed underneath. It's actually a toy hauler. So you've got a, I don't know, eight foot by eight foot spot up front where you can put ATVs or Razor uh, motorcycles. We actually just used it for our electric bikes. Comes with the 4,500 watt generator that powers the air conditioner and the microwave. It also comes with a box on the front with that we always use to keep firewood dry. It's got uh, two 30 pound um, propane tanks with a switchover and then two deep cycle RV batteries that, uh, that are in good shape. Walk around the rest of the outside. It's got a nice big storage all the way through, all the way through the front. Great storage in this unit. Tires are in great shape. Two of them are actually brand new this season. Um, it's got an awning and outside LED lights. It's got a nice big awning, it's powered. Sorry about the bushes. It's the only place I could really park it. Um, then in the back, it's got another, of course, it's spare tire, but it's got another storage section. Um, the back bunk beds are there, but underneath there's a huge amount of storage. It goes all the way towards the front. This also lifts up um, if you wanted to just use it for storage and not use it for a bed on the bottom. Moving along to the back, you see there's your hot water heater. Tags are good in Oregon till December of this year. It also has a class, well, a two inch by two inch receiver on the bumper for a bike rack only. Going around the other side. Uh, no damage on the sides or the back. There is one little dent on the very front I'll show you. But, uh, of course, it has the three-way fridge, utility shower, um, and then this is the other side of the, it's actually a smaller opening here on this side, but it goes all the way through. I'll get a picture of the weight limits. Um, it has stabilizer jacks on all four corners. I also have the attachment so you can use your drill. That'll go with it as well. Here's the dent from firewood. Got got hit with a piece of firewood there's your generator got it on a foam mat so you can run it while you're inside the trailer it's no issue generator runs great it's got a motorized front jack all right let's go take a look on the inside Inside's got a nice screen, good shape. Walking in, you'll see it has the, I think it's a queen bed uh, in the front. And then it's got a closet here. And it also has a built-in vacuum cleaner. That's all the attachments for the vacuum cleaner. Right here is where you plug in the vacuum cleaner when you're plugged into 110 volts. Also has storage up above. And then the bed actually lifts up and you have plenty of storage underneath. Nice sink, um, two reservoir sink, storage up front or up top. And then you have a microwave and then of course a three burner range. And what's nice is it actually has an oven. There's your heater, three way fridge, fr fridge and freezer. Runs off of propane or 12 volts or 110 volts and then keep moving towards the back you'll see it's got another sink smaller sink with some storage underneath got a vanity and then here's your bathroom bathroom's a pretty decent size shower and then all the way in the back you've got your bunk beds 
So here's your top bunk. It's more like a twin size or even a little smaller than a twin. And this is actually a little bigger than a twin. Um, if you remember, there's the panel to the outside and then there's storage all the way underneath this. There's also storage under this side. Lots of good storage. And then you have more cabinets. This goes all the way to the ceiling. This goes the entire depth of this top bed. So this is uh, tons of room for storage. Here's your dinette that could actually turn into a bed and sleep too. Stored in, storage under every um, under every seat. And then up top you've got your TV and more storage for cabinet space. And it also has a Bluetooth radio that has speakers on the inside and the outside so you can connect it to your phone. Well, uh, what else can I tell you here? It's got the air conditioner. Actually, it has ducts, so it actually has ducts all through it. So it's not just one, one concentrated blow point. Um, you can adjust where the air comes out, which is nice. And then, as I said, the furnace uh, runs through the undercarriage and heats the, the tanks, the holding tanks. Also, it has... Um, a micro monitor and of course the awning in and out and then electric and gas hot water heater which is nice because if you're plugged into an rv park where you're not paying for electricity you might as well use that electricity instead of your gas i think that is it i'll go ahead and do one more spin around here um i think i'll jump outside and show you the front platform again these side these sides in front actually come off and they're your ramps so you can drive an atv up into the platform and strap it down and i believe that is good